another one of my thumbs question mark. I don't know how to, I figured out how to type it and what to call it. I just don't know how to phrase it when I'm speaking it. Um, I have another one of my thumbs question mark videos. I know this is like the third one in a row, but it's probably going to be a while after this before I do the next one. Um, sorry again about the camera. This time I'm trying holding it, so we'll see how that goes. Um, the holding it is not working. Okay. Um, the thing I want to talk about this video, let me get this, there we go. The thing I want to talk about this video is a primer and it is the Wet n Wild Coverall Primer and I've been using this for at least a week, probably a little over a week, ever since I got really frustrated with the uh, Avance one, um, so like since the middle of last week or something like that. And it looks like this, and um, this is one I was trying to use up because it's a lotiony primer. I prefer silicone primers, that sort of thing. Um, and I'm wearing it today, not that you can see because it's a primer and it you can't see it anyway, even if that was all I was wearing. Um, but it says on the back. Magic Potion refines pores, fills fine lines, brightens complexion, even skin tone. All that stuff. That's what the back looks like. Um, I do like that it's called Partners in Prime. That's kind of cute. But I have combo skin, I guess. Um, most of my skin is pretty normal. Sometimes, especially in the winter, my forehead can get dry, but it's kind of normal right now. Right here a little bit, but mostly just my nose, not even my T-zone, my nose gets super oily. And I haven't even thought about, you know, makeup products and oily for a while because it hasn't bothered me. The last lotion-y primer I used was the Rimmel Stay Matte, and when I had it in my empties, I said that I didn't notice any specific mattifying. Yes, Rimmel Stay Matte uh, Primer apparently does mattify because I didn't have the problem with that that I'm having with this, which is oil breakthrough. And it's not so much that you can see it, which I'm thankful for, but I can feel it and I just, I do not like that feel. And you can see that I look a little bit dewy and not totally matte, which if you're going for that, cool. It's just not my thing. Um, so this just doesn't work for my skin type. It's not a bad primer. It just doesn't work for my skin type. Um, so if you have normal or probably even dry because this is a lotion-y type primer, this would probably work really good for you. It's just not working for me. Like, And I know it's not the foundation because I've used this foundation plenty before this primer and no problems. It's not the powder, same thing. I've used this powder pr plenty of times. No problems. This is the only new thing that could be, that I've changed up that could be causing the oil breakthrough. So I know it's this. Um, but, yeah. So this one, this primer is getting a thumbs down for me. Personally, my skin I have powder on my shirt. My skin uh, combo to oily. Um, mostly just combo, but the problem I'm having is with oiliness. Um, so yeah, thumbs down for me, but it might work for you. And I will see you guys next video. Bye.